recent past, we have seen a number of young patients dying of sudden cardiac arrest. They may be walking on a treadmill, dropping dead suddenly, dancing in a party, dropping dead, or taking part in marathons and dropping dead. And majority of them even didn't have any previous history of heart disease. So what could be the cause of this? So what I would like to suggest to the general public is the people should know their numbers. They, they should know what are their cholesterol levels, what is their ideal weight, and uh, what are their risk factors. The risk factors can be categorized like in modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors. The modifiable risk factors are the risk factors which you can modify like your weight. You can reduce your weight. Like smoking, you can stop smoking. Like alcohol intake, you can moderate your alcohol intake. Your, your cholesterol levels, you can control your cholesterol levels by good diet. And the non-modifiable risk factors are the family history of heart disease or your age. In males, if you are more than 45 years of age and in females, if you are more than 55 years of age, you are at a higher risk of having heart disease. So you should be knowing your numbers uh, to, and once, if you have any risk factors, then you should take a consultation with your uh, family physician and a cardiologist to assess whether you have any risk of having sudden cardiac arrest. There are a number of simple tests which can be done like uh, starting from ECG, echo test and treadmill test and certain biochemical tests which if done and which if they are normal then the, the risk of dying suddenly is much lessened. But sometimes what happens is that despite all these tests being normal even then the patient has a risk of sudden cardiac death. So how can we reduce or prevent certain people dying from sudden cardiac arrest? So for sudden cardiac arrest, it takes only three to four minutes before the brain is dead or has uh, goes without oxygen. So in India, no doctor can reach a person with a cardiac arrest in three to four minutes. So the message here is that Everybody should know how to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation or a CPR in uh, short. So uh, we have seen a number of uh, recent examples where celebrities, uh, comedians or actors, they died uh, while performing their job and they could not be resuscitated because nobody knew how to do an effective CPR. CPR is a very simple technique, can be learned in 5 to 10 minutes. There are free courses organized in various cardiac hospitals and anybody can learn it and can save a life of a sudden cardiac arrest victim. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com.